I recently saw a girl I used to talk to with another guy. And I'm like, yo, I could have had that if I wanted to. Yeah, I know feminists. I'm the ideal chauvinistic man. I'm guilty of that. But when I looked deeper, I found that I wasn't jealous or upset that she had found someone else. I just couldn't stand the fact that I was alone. I'm not even hungry, but seeing someone else's food makes me hungry. Being alone, when I'm capable of being with someone that's great, that's smart, that's beautiful, that's my biggest problem. I want the instant gratification that comes with that too, because that instant gratification is the new longevity. And I want it all now. Cupid must have his priorities out of order when it comes to this young symbol right here. But if there's anything that I've learned in this state of hashtag no hoes, no women, it's that self-reflection is our greatest overlooked tool. I bet there isn't a spot you miss when you look in the mirror. And our persona should be the same, but we choose to hide it away, like we're embarrassed about it. Afraid to call ourselves out. I'm a thought. Was. What? Was. I wasn't serious about the relationship that I had with her. In fact, it would probably just be a repeat of last time. And I'm not trying to dog her either. See, the crazy thing is, it's, it's a self-reflection. She has nothing to do with it. She is just the... She is the catalyst that made me realize. If anything, I want to thank her. How many things have I tricked myself into believing? How many things have I done because someone else told me to do it and not because I knew that that's what I truly wanted? I'm guilty of polluting and convoluting my persona with things that I'm not. Identify yourself, know yourself, love yourself. And most importantly, you may find the best you in self-reflection. Troll proof. Yeah, here.